welcome back to Homemade Homestead. My name is Rachel and here are new. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my monthly meal plan, my meal plan for the month of June. I like to go to my family and say, what do you guys like from last month? Is there anything you want me to incorporate or is there something that you really did not like that I did that month that I could change this month? So I ask my family, I go to my husband and my kids and see if there's anything they want me to incorporate in this month's meal plan before I plan. I also like to look at our calendar and see if there's any events that are coming up. And this month in June is Father's Day. On Sunday the 21st is Father's Day. So if you're a father, happy Father's Day. Um, and I went to my husband and I asked what did he want to have that day for his day. And he wanted to grill. He wanted burgers. So I went off of that and um, I'll show you in a second what I came up with. Also go to your last month's meal plan and you can pull from that, which I'll show you that I did. So let's get into the meal plan. All right, so here is an overview for the whole month of June. So I'm gonna start right over here on Sundays. I made this our grill night because my husband wanted burgers that night, so I just fed off of that. So on Sunday the 7th, we're gonna do barbecue, chicken wings, potatoes, and veggies. And I found out an amazing way to make your veggies just right there on the grill. And I just throw the veggies in there with some oil and salt and pepper, and it's just delightful. Um, we're gonna do grilled fish with veggies that day, the burgers and fries for my husband, uh, steak and grilled veggies on the 28th. So on Monday, I went with like a Mexican kind of theme. We're gonna do fish tacos on the 1st. We're gonna do Navajo tacos, tostadas, vegetarian enchiladas, and black bean chipotle burger on a tostada. Then on Tuesday, we're gonna do our new recipe night. So I switched this one up. It was Thursday night last month. I switched it to Tuesday this month. Um, we're doing a Cuban red beans and rice, a fish stew, which is from a YouTube channel from our tribe of many, um, fish and chips, peanut butter chicken, which is also from that same YouTube channel, uh, drive through Sue's chicken quiche, and that's from a Trim Healthy Table cookbook. On Wednesdays, I'm gonna do breakfast again for dinner. We really liked that this month. Um, even my husband, who's not a huge fan of breakfast food, he really liked it um, for Wednesday. So we're gonna do German pancakes, huevos rancheros casserole, pancakes, eggs, and turkey bacon, and a waffle dinner. Then on Thursday, where is it gonna be our salad day? We're gonna do a Big Mac salad, which is from the Trim Healthy Table cookbook, a ranch hand salad, which is from the same cookbook, a salad bar, which is where I just put everything out, anything you can think of to put on a salad, and you can pick and choose, like you're going to a salad bar in a restaurant. We really enjoy that. Even the kids do, they kinda of get creative. Um, the Greek salad is on the 25th. And then on Friday, we're going to do our freezer meals. I've noticed that this last month, Fridays were kind of uh, a crunch day for me, like there was a lot going on on Fridays, and so I was gonna try to make it a little bit easier for me in the kitchen and do just a freezer meal that I have in my freezer that I can pull out, stick in my crock pot or something like that. So we're gonna do white chicken chili, beef and broccoli, pot roast, and barbecue chicken on sandwiches. And then Saturday is our rest day, so we just do leftovers all day. So that is our June dinners. And if there's any recipes on here that you guys are interested in or if you want me to show you or link a recipe, just leave it down in the comments and I'll try to do my best with that. All right, so for our breakfast for the month, I'm gonna do the breakfast buffet, which I did last month on Sunday, which worked out really well. We work outside most of the day on that day, so I like to have a really big breakfast. On Monday, baked oatmeal. Tuesday is eggs and toast. Wednesday is cereal with yogurt and fruit, almost kind of like a parfait. Thursday is pancakes, and Friday is just regular oatmeal, and Saturday is bagels, because it's super simple. The only change that I really made with this is I rearranged, because last month I put eggs and toast on Wednesday, and then we did breakfast for dinner that day, so it was just a lot of eggs that day, so we kind of rotated those around. Lunches, I did wraps, worked out great. Um, peanut butter and jelly, the same. Tuesdays, I switched it to pasta. Wednesday, I did burritos and nachos. Baked potato, that's a new lunch for us on Thursdays. Um, pizzas, I moved that to Friday. And then Saturday is just gonna be leftovers. Then for our snacks, I did change it up a little bit. Um, last month, I had 
fruit snacks as one of the snacks, which the kids adore, but it just doesn't keep them full very long until dinner. And that's what my goal is, is to have a snack that can hold them over until dinner. So Sunday, I have hard boiled eggs and pretzels. Monday is applesauce and animal crackers. Tuesday is granola. I'm gonna make that. It's an old family recipe. I just haven't made it for a while. Wednesday, frozen fruit. Everybody loved that. Thursday is graham crackers and peanut butter. Friday is pops, like icicle pops, or um, I like to make them homemade where you almost make a smoothie and then you can put them in like those little popsicle containers. I got mine from the dollar store or you can even use like a Dixie cup with a spoon in it and freeze it that way. And then nut seeds and raisins. My favorite way to display this is just by putting it up on our pantry door. That way the kids and anybody who wants to can go and see what we're gonna have that day. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you give meal planning a try. I have done this for quite a few years and I love meal planning. Yeah, I don't like to have to be thinking about food all the time, thinking about what we're gonna eat and what I need to make. It's great so I can plan ahead, shop once a month, which next week on Wednesday, I will be sharing my once a month grocery haul with you guys. So anyway, I hope you subscribe so you'll stick around to see that video or others that we make. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye bye now.